Hello, for this worked example, uh, we are asked to use Varignon's theorem uh, to find the moment that these three forces uh, exert about point A over here. So we've got some lever, we've got a number of forces acting on the same point, um, and we're going to find the overall moment. Uh, I'm going to start by labeling my forces. Uh, so this one I'm going to call F1, this one I'm going to call F2, and this one down here I'm going to call F3. All right, so <clears throat> What Varignon's theorem lets me do, uh, rather than finding the moment from force one, moment from force two, moment from force three, uh, and then adding all those together, I can actually add all these forces together at the beginning uh, and then find the moment that that overall sum of forces exerts about point A. All right, so if I do that, I'm going to do the sum of forces in the x direction, uh, and that's going to be uh, F1, so it's going to be negative 300 sine 30. Uh, and then for F2, I'm going to have plus uh, 150 newtons. And so if I sum those two things together, I find the sum of forces in the x direction is actually equal to zero. All right, so now sum of forces in the y direction uh, I'm going to have negative 300 times the cosine of 30. And I'm going to have positive 70 newtons here. And the sum of those two numbers, uh, it's going to be negative 189.8 newtons. All right, so now I can redraw this uh, as a single resultant force. Uh, so I've got point A over here, I've got my moment arm, and out here at the end, um, I've got a single force of negative um, 189.8 newtons. All right, so the moment that this force exerts about point A uh, is going to be equal to the force times the distance. Um, and so my, my distance here is going to be 0.5 meters. Um, and my force is 189. I'm going to use the right-hand rule. Um, so this would cause, if I pin it down at point A, this would cause a clockwise rotation. It's going to be a negative rotation. So it's negative. Uh, the magnitude of the force is 189.8 newtons. And the uh, distance is going to be 0.5 five meters here. All right, so <clears throat> multiply the two numbers together, I get uh, negative 94.9, and my units are going to be Newton meters. All right, so with that, we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.